Welcome along to Bangkok Chit Chat with Andrew and Andy. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the past shows that we've been doing. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, we need to, to, to get our subscriptions up just to make things easier for us with YouTube and Facebook and that. So sharing is a very good way to do it as well. Yes. Because it gets our stuff known to other people other than you. Yeah. Not you, but you. Yeah. All right. Now, this... <laughs> Scrabble. Yeah, let's go and play Scrabble at home. You play a nice family thing. I used to like Scrabble. I wasn't very good at it because I can't spell properly. All right, okay. Well, but uh, did you play uh, no, Scrabble? We, we, yeah, we played it. It was basically to help your spelling and things like that. Wow. Your, I would try to play with parents. And, it's a good uh, game. I, I must admit, it wasn't something I'd, I would uh, uh, have my milk quiz and play, and play, play with my friends. What well, would you rather Scrabble. play, Monopoly or Scrabble? I'd rather play Scrabble. Uh, no, way. Monopoly. Oh, that's boring. No, no, I think it's more, more challenging. But what would we What's play? What's more challenging, Monopoly? Yeah. Than Scrabble? When well, you've got to think of words. Well, no, but you, 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 in Scrabble you have to select who you're going to be playing with. You want a, a dumbass to play with so, so you actually win. <laughs> you're not going to say, oh, well, uh, uh, Einstein, would you like a game of Scrabble? I right? used to play with my son. When he was four, my father oh, I used to get so win. upset. If we played drafts, you get so upset. Drafts, yeah, draft. That, that's checkers. stress strategy. Yeah, or yeah. checkers, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he would get really upset. I'm not sure if he knew how to play chess. Yeah, but he used to play a bit of chess. I played yeah. chess. I was, I know how to play it, but I mean, I never got to any standard where you think of a uh, strategy and all that business, mm. which they do. Anyway, the world of tournament Scrabble, a highly, highly popular game in Thailand, was rocked a couple of weekends ago, when a leading Thai player was ejected from a tournament in Chonburi. Pichai Liprasert, who was banned for a year back in 2017, so he's been done before, was thrown out of the Eastern Scrabble Championships at Pacific Hall, uh, Pacific Park, Sirichar. Fellow players alleged that he was secretly holding a letter P. <laughs> and, no, not only a P... He only didn't have a P. <laughs> it took it a, he a P at all. Yeah, he had a P. He had a P under the table, did he? Well, I come to our clip picks later. <laughs> and he was carrying. He was concealing a valuable blank type, type oh. which oh, they were good, I must admit. And he the had, horror. He was holding them under the table. <laughs> now, Pichai from Bangkok, who is one of the top ranked players in Thailand and one of the thirty best players in the world faces a lifetime ban from the game considered a sport in Thailand. Okay. It's a sport. Now this is never seen that in the Olympics. Yeah. Well, I mean well, there's a few Thai sports now that do go to the Olympics, right? Taekwondo, I think, isn't it? It's yeah. Taekwondo is the last one. Yeah. I mean that wasn't didn't used to be in, but right. now is, which is cool. Uh, it's very very uh, what's the word? Very skillful game now. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thailand is known as one of the foremost countries for professional and student Scrabble in the world. It is played in English. Remember you asked me that off camera. Are the tiles in Thai? I said, well, if they were in Thai language, <laughs> you'd need about 500 tiles. You'd have these great big boards of tiles. And <laughs> How many consonants? How many uh, vowels? Oh, don't. I mean... Oh, my so goodness. It yeah. is played in English and called crossword game and is home to regular prize money tournaments and has thousands of rated players. It's big time. The game attracts patronage as well from the Thai royal family. Great. So that's how, how high Scrabble is uh, in Thailand. And sponsorship from them as well, from major Thai businesses and corporations keen to promote the English language game as an educational tool. Yeah, now the question is that once they've got all these words, can you string them all together? Have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but what happens but you if know, you have a load you, of blanks? You, you, if you speak to somebody who uses really, really big words, uh, yeah, they must know that not everybody understands what they're saying. You keep the, the whole point of communication is to communicate. Yeah? Uh -huh. uh, so you get these really massive words and you know, and academic words. Let's just say, let's just say. Nobody understands them. Oh, well, that's... Uh, did you read the last bit? Because that leads right no. into the very last bit. Oh, right. <laughs> there is a Scrabble dictionary of... So if someone comes up with Puthankonos. Oh, that ain't a word. Hold on. See? Puthankonos. And so that's like their Bible, right? Added to that Bible recently is the word Farang. Wow. And Siracha. 
Is that Sri Racha? Yes, yeah, Sri Racha. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how big Thailand is at Scrabble. That they've got Thai names in Scrabble. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, it's, it's a word. Yeah. Well, yes. So when I go and play my, uh, they probably know it. Someone who doesn't know Thailand in England, and I put Sri Racha, they're going to go what? And get to the Bible. Yeah. Go, yeah there yeah, it is. Yeah. So there's some handy words. Now, do you remember a year ago or so there was <laughs> headlines in the paper? Gambling den gets raided by police. And the police go upstairs and there's like five old age pensioners playing Scrabble. Oh, that was a, there was the foreigners, yeah? Yes, foreigners. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yeah. yes was yes, it yes. Scrabble or was it backgammon or was it bridge? I think it was bridge, yeah. Was it that bridge? Was it Pallia, yeah. I'm sure yeah. it's Scrabble. I'm going to say Scrabble just for this story. Uh, all right, okay. <laughs> no, if it was Scrabble, <laughs> Poetic the, license, the, the yeah. thing is, and we all thought, oh, how stupid. Now. If it was Scrabble, they probably were playing for money. Because it says it's a major gambling game here in Thailand. Really? Yes. So my, my, my thought with this was, uh, this particular guy, if he's cheated, you know, now if he was in another sport, he would be he was banned for one year, but he's done it a second time. Yeah? Well, yes, he has now. If he gets convicted, he will, uh, he will be get banned for life. And they've got to do this it. This was from Thai Visa, by the way. The, 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 I think they, they, they have to do it because you have to set, set a moral standard. So what I'm saying is, though, what was, his, what was his incentive to cheat? Was it monetary or was it ego? Oh, which like, you want to be the best at something, We, we, we could surmise about all that, but the fact was he was cheating yeah? I reckon uh, in, a, in a sport. It must have been well, money. if it was... Maybe well, you get prize money, as they said. Big, big, right, big but you cheated. Money. Now, so if you, if you were in another, another sport, like tennis or, or something mm. like that, or... or, or when you're taking drugs, mm. yeah, you get banned. Well, there was a heavy cheat. What about cheating when a player fall in football pool falls over, faking a, uh, a tackle? Well, that's, that's, that's cheating. Yes, but so he should. He should he, well, they do. They get, if they get caught, they they, lose, get they say they can't play for so many weeks. No, they get a yeah. yellow card. They get carded. They all right. Okay. All right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. If, if they did it. There should be some punishment. But the whole point was, this is more of an academic thing than it is a, a physical sport. Yeah? So my thought was, uh, it was basically by say, saying he's not punished for this, uh, it's like saying corruption's okay. Uh, because yeah, he's... Yeah. So, uh, That's cheating. It, it's, Corruption's cheating. But it's, 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 a, it's a moral standard. Yeah? Uh, and also it should act as a deterrent. Yeah? Because... Even within the university, there's been a few situations where they find people cheating in universities, etc. It's as if it's accepted unless you get caught. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. there has to be an example to uh, people that, no, it's not acceptable. Yeah? And you should be punished and you should be shamed yeah, for, for doing this. Yeah. And they should take that opportunity, especially as a fantastic group that's doing this, uh, you know, running this uh, Word sport. sport. Yeah. yeah Word yeah. sport. Word sport. I mean, if if you do something and by cheating you you get to the top and win something or get the ac uh, accolade for mm -hmm. being at the top, that is so wrong. Well, they did a, they did a, uh, on the on the corruption side. Yeah, uh, did an assessment within Thailand and people said, oh, well, it's a little bit of a corruption. It's okay. Uh, and, and I think that attitude is, is, is changing, yeah? Yeah. because there is some things that, you know, you live in a culture, it, this, this is the way it's been for hundreds of years, mm. and, and there's little, little bits and pieces of corruption here yeah, mm. to get things moving forward, grease the wheel, as, as we would say. Yeah? Mm. And I ha it's not just Thailand, it's uh, everywhere in the world, every country in the world. Yeah? Mm. But with this to set to the, to the people yeah, that it's not, not acceptable, I think people have to adjust uh, and say, no, we do not accept that corruption, cheating is an okay thing. So mm. with, with this particular guy for this particular organisation, mm. I would have thought they'd ban him for life. Now it doesn't stop him from playing, yeah, he just they can't can play. play official, official yeah. competitions. Yeah, they can still play with their family and cheat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fine. Yeah. I do believe someone that cheats. But it was representing his country as well. So oh, it, that's it, it, dreadful. So I think it's, it's not but good. But yeah. why I picked the story was because, you know, who really, me, I don't take Scrabble that seriously. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. obviously people really do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, here, at Bank here at Bangkok Chit Chat Studios, Clip Cube, um, we've decided to do a, the shows a different format. Yeah. Uh, instead of doing one, we've decided to do mini ones because of maybe people's time uh, scheduling or... Or, or concentration powers, or, uh, or or whatever. So, so we've talked about that today. In, in other ones that you'll see, uh, you'll see energy cards. Uh, we'll talk about energy cards later. You probably know what they are. Um, what else are we going to talk about? That uh, the taxi bike, 
uh, yep. gunfight at OK Corral. Uh, 2,000 foreigners arrested. And clip picks and, uh, and all that is all coming up within sort of like 10 days. So you'll get everything that we had in the show, but you, it'll be in like mini, mini ones. And at the end, end of the, this video, you'll see uh, other, for this, for this period, for this month, uh, the other videos there. You can just click on them at the end of the video and you'll see the next one. How easy is that? Yeah, lovely. Okay. So don't forget to... I'm not even going to say what it is there. Work it out and please do it because it helps us a lot. It was ballet. Yeah. Can you do it? I have to get lean out, yeah. Can you do it? Can you do it? Come on, oh. I'd like to see you do it. See how stupid it looks. Yeah, and? No. Uh, not to me. There. Yeah. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> Got him going. Oh, great. It's like a dance. <laughs> You're good, man. You're great. You're great. You're the best co-host I've had today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they wanted to have you. Uh, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And, you know, just look out. So, notifications. Oh, yeah, that's something else you can do. Is If you click that on YouTube. On YouTube, you click notifications. But basically, what I'll do is it'll tell you when the next, next show's yeah. coming up. Yeah. And on uh, Facebook, if you friend us anyway, they'll come yeah, up. Yeah, come up on, on Facebook. Yeah. All right, then. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back again here at Bangkok Chit Chat.